Hey guys, today I am going to outline how I plan to sell $2 million of cards in the next 180 days. I think this will have to be convention centered. Uh, from what I can tell, the only way to sell a mass amount of cards isn't, you know, a physical local game store anymore. Now you could sell it online, but the shipping and you're going to get eaten by shipping fees is by attending a convention and then also just, you know, taking pictures of your inventory, having a catalog of the inventory. I'm going to probably put it on a website. Uh, I have to do this. Now, as many of you may know from my other channel, I have decided to walk away from my agency for the time being to spend more time with family. One of the primary goals would be to A, sell off this collection. And you might say, hey, why should you, why do you need to sell the collection if you don't need money? I need the space, right? Uh, I need the space. And without having uh, too much space, I we can't have another kid like every single nook and cranny is stacked to the ceiling and this does not include two other sources of cards which one would be chase for the higher end cards and one would be my storage facility unit here in humble which is uh, roughly the size of one and a half times the i'm paying 318 dollars for the storage facility uh let's let's see what size it actually is like, uh, and what size is it? Uh, it is called extra space storage. Uh, and it is a, nope, uh, it's not that. Oh, okay. It's actually a combination of two. I understand what happened to give me a slight discount. It's a 10 feet by 20 feet. And I have two of them. They are charging me more money. No, 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 that's not correct. Okay, that's not correct. Okay, here, it's not correct. I'm looking at a different location. Okay, here's a correct location. It is a 10 feet by 20 feet, and with tax and everything, it comes out to be the same amount of money. So, yeah, I, I guess storage facility, even though this is the same one. Oh, yeah, it's charging you different money. Okay, so dif depending on your location, it charges you different amounts. Uh, okay, maybe this one's really cheap. I don't know what, 10? But it's a 10 foot by 20 foot large so it's not the same as a 10 foot by 20 foot vehicle it's a 10 foot by 20 foot large and with tax and charges and so on i'm paying 300 wow okay so they have vehicle pricing and what, what the hell is going on here oh yeah no 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 it, it's not that it's a 15 foot by 30 foot but they don't have vehicle here so okay it's a 15 foot by 30 foot so it is actually larger than that bedroom. I think that bedroom is what? 10 feet by 8 feet or something like that. Maybe 10 feet by 10 feet. Probably, yeah, it's probably a 10 feet by 10 feet. So it is twice the size, which makes sense because it's basically I was going to get two storage units, but then they told me, hey, wouldn't you just rather have a larger storage unit? So I've not been to this place in about 8 months since I stopped really making videos in this channel. So I am, myself am curious like what is potentially at this storage facility uh, i think it would be interesting to look at uh, at least from my perspective is you know what is there uh, i don't know now I, I know that it will be a shit ton of evolving skies so that's what i know but anyway the plan is to sell everything as much as of it as i can and the only way i have figured out to do so would be either online advertising to somebody to come pick up in a u-haul you would need a u-haul even for just this stuff and, and let's say you only took the pokemon etbs you would need a u-haul uh, i'm hoping somebody takes the pokemon booster boxes etbs blisters and so on and just, just wipe me out they can take the uh bookshelves they can <laughs> take everything uh, I'm hoping to find one buyer at the Collecticon. Collecticon is mostly Pokemon. It's happening in November. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to prepare for Collecticon, but you can follow me on my journey. So I am going to catalog everything I own uh, initially in Pokemon, and then I will catalog everything I own and that I want to sell uh, in my home. So the goal is to empty out the home first, making room for perhaps a second child or having just uh, better storage 
room that we don't have at this moment because it is literally thousands and thousands of blisters and ETBs everywhere you go. Uh, and then Funko Pops. God damn, I should not buy Funko Pops. You know, like, there were some mistakes were made on <laughs> Funko Pops and Squishmallows because they take so much space. And when your distributors sell... So $1,000 in Magic Cards isn't very much nowadays, but $1,000 in Squishmallows is a shit ton of Squishmallows because they're, like, really large items. Uh, and if I could just move everything, you know, if I could sell all of it and then move the majority of it into the garage, that would be great. So right now, this is just kind of an example. You can see it's overflowing into the master bedroom uh, closet, which is gigantic. It's on different shelves, different levels. I mean, this type of stuff is like, uh, it's too much. It is too much. I recognize that it is just, you know, it's all the way stacked to the ceilings. It cannot be stacked more. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, th this, these are bulk rares or, and or, you know, like trainers. Uh, the our, our Pikachu's or our EVs or cards like that, and you're looking at. Um, so I try to donate the rest, but there's very few places. Even my Goodwill, they'll take them, but I don't think they do very much. But those red binders are all uh, different sets, and they're all like V Maxes and above. Uh, or they're Fire Emblem, you know, from different games. They're like, you know, I I've gotten rid of the bulk. This is what you see that is in within the dollar. Again, magic commons are like 15, or magic rares are now like five cents. But it, in my mind, you know, they're magic rares, right? And uh, yeah, so we have a lot of shit. Um, I'm definitely, you know, wanting to offload all of it, including, but I, I don't think I can find a buyer for the magic right now. I think, um, you know, people are like, oh, hey, do you want to buy this? I mean, it's like I'm not really focused on selling single cards right now. I focus on moving as many of the boxes as I can. I also have a massive comic book and manga thing, but I don't think that will sell. Um, these are sets. These are complete sets that you're looking at, minus like the, the rare cards. But if a set of Legends, even if you don't have the rarest cards in it, it's still quite valuable. Still, you know, five, six thousand dollars sometimes um, because the Legends. Oh, this is my garage. I was thinking of making, like, for Halloween, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to have to clean up. There's a shit ton I have to do. So I don't get back from Los Angeles until Monday. Uh, but there's a shit ton I need to do to clean the garage, my yard, to get ready for Halloween. But my idea on Halloween is we'll just give, like, these kids a choice of candy. So we have candy or we have just, like, random Pokemon cards, like, rares and stuff. They probably don't want trainers, but we'll have stacks out for them to take. That would be kind of fun, and it'll be all away. So all of this stuff is stacked to the ceiling in my storage facility. So ten by twenty is probably the size of my garage. I'm thinking. So my car's ten. Yeah. So I have a whole garage of evolving skies. <laughs> Thank God it was evolving skies. My God, imagine if it was like scarlet and violet. <laughs> you know. But I do have, like, some of it is Scarlet and Violet. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of the shit was Scarlet and Violet. Some of it's Y. Some of it's Meta X. You know, none of it's Meta Zoo, by the way. But, yeah, uh, it should be a fun time. Uh, and that's primary my goal is to just uh, move the inventory. I think Collecticon is a great opportunity to do that, especially since all the people are coming from Houston with U-Hauls to contact me.